Birds are excellent indicators of environmental change, and we live in the same environments as birds. So it's important that we know what's happening. The actions that we need to take to conserve birds, to recover those populations, are the same actions that we need to be taking to protect human health and well-being. What we need to do is smarter conservation. And so the more precise we can be with where to direct those interventions, the more effective we're going to be. eBird is a global project that engages bird watchers and bird enthusiasts around the world, and they can submit their observations to this global platform. They really are becoming the sort of eyes and ears of scientists, of managers, of decision makers. And in, because of that, we now know more about bird populations and more about the environment than we ever had before. So with eBird Trends, we can actually zoom into 27 square kilometers. That's a landscape scale. We can visualize both the population change. So you can see in these red dots, you know, the darker the red, the more steep the population decline. The brighter the blue, the stronger the population increase. And the size of that circle indicates the abundance of the species at that location. This is the first time we have had fine-scaled information on population changes that we can do across enormous spatial extents, across entire ranges of species, across entire countries and continents. And that provides us a better lens to understand the changes that are happening with bird populations and alongside that, the changes that are happening in the environment. And so that gives us more opportunities than ever to make strategic and really effective decisions on conservation so we can get good returns on those investments and really bend the curve on biodiversity loss.